Hey everybody, this is Tara from Tara Vapes coming to you with an e-liquid review today. I'm super excited, the weather is beautiful, life is good, and I have a really special review for you. Um, this was this was quite the honor and surprise. I was really excited about this. I actually got an email from a e-liquid company uh, asking me to review their line and I was so excited because that's so awesome right I mean it's not like that you know I knew them or anything like that so I'm really excited about sharing with you my thoughts on this particular e-liquid line now they sent me two different uh, what are you collections I'm gonna call it a collection because for some reason my brain is totally totally had a brain fart and um, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the collection that I vaped already and tell you my honest and unbiased opinion. Now, they sent me these these e-liquids, these samples, for me to review, to share with you my thoughts. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think and let you know that even though, let me, I like to get this disclaimer out of the way right off the bat, is if I like or dislike something, it really is dependent upon what your taste buds are like and what your vaping style is like. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get in it. This is from Drippin' Vape, okay? And the first line that I am going through is the donuts line. Got donuts, I love their marketing. I am a marketer, so this gets me excited. I looked at their uh, Instagram immediately and I was like, look at these people, they're crazy awesome. They have all their pictures all together like a mosaic, making one big picture. I just absolutely adore how they go about that. So. What they sent here, let me show you the boxes. Okay, this is, these are the boxes. Now they come in very nice, high quality boxes. Your bottle's protected in here. You might hear it jiggle, but it's protected in there because inside they have the little, what are you doing, right? Now on the outside, it's gonna be one of these three flavors, correct? In the front, all of them have the strawberry but how you can tell what your flavor is, is the sticker. There's gonna be one sticker over the flavor that's inside the box. So this one is not a sticker. This one is a sticker, so this is the strawberry. So they have strawberry, blueberry, and bear claw. Now, I was really afraid when it first came in because like you've probably heard me say a bunch of times, I'm not a dessert person. I don't, you know, I think, um, I liked a uh, donut e-liquid back when I got started, really fantastic donut e-liquid, but as a go-to, I'm not down with it. So I was nervous about vaping these and I, you know, I want to give a good review, but that's not the point of the review, right? The point of the review is to let you know what I think so that you might be able to make a decision for yourself. So with that being said, I was a little scared, but let me show you some stuff. Um, I got the coolest ever button. It's a donut, guys. I love it. I love this donut. And so um, I think that's really fun. And I got a really cool sticker that I'm going to put on my cell phone, actually, because it's like a clear. And I just think that's a lot of fun. I love the marketing. And like I said, I was scared when I opened up the boxes. I was scared. But let me, childproof tops. I want to get into that with you. Nice glass bottles, 30 milliliter sizes. They spared no expense with marketing, packaging, and um, they use the United States nicotine, PG, and VG, artificial and natural flavoring, handcrafted by Drip and Vapes in Los Angeles. And they have the warnings on there. Um, they have, they're very clear with all of that. They have a Q code. The VG is 60 and the PG is 40. So with that being said, if you are a dripper, that might not work out for you. But if you're a tank lover, that might work out just fine for you. I think that's a pretty respectable blend. Um, and as far as vape quality is concerned, that's that's great. It's going to give you great flavor and it's gonna give you decent cloud and it's gonna work better in your tanks. Your drips, it's a little too loose for drips, I think. That's my opinion. So they also must have some sort of point system here. They're brand new, so I'm not sure how they're rolling with this, but. This is gonna mean something, kind of like, you remember the days when you smoked and you used to collect those little stickers off your cigarette pack and it add up, maybe that's what they're doing here. And I think that's pretty exciting. So 
With that being said, let me go ahead and get into it. The first one I opened because I thought it was going to be my very favorite was the strawberry. And I have these bottles all over the place totally the strawberry. Okay? And um, I did not. I did not. I filled my tank with a fresh wick. Um, I use, this is what basically I always have going on, a 0.39 ohm Kanga Rebuildable. Okay? And I vape at 18 watts. That's generally my deal. Otherwise, I will sub ohm in my blah, 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 troll and I'll vape at 50 or 60 watts there. But for these, because of the VGPG and it was convenient for me, I filled my tank, put new new uh, wick in there and everything and got halfway through my tank and I did not like the strawberry. I did not like the strawberry, not one bit. Now you'll notice the bottle is empty. Now, and you know that I did live with my daughter and she loved this. For her, she actually said that this tastes exactly like a strawberry jelly donut. Now, I don't think that was what the intention was. I think it's supposed to be a strawberry frosted donut with sprinkles. For me, I have this very strange aftertaste almost, and it's really fucked up. Just bear with me, guys. But this is what my opinion was, and this is the reaction that I felt from it. And I stopped, and I said, here, you can have a bottle. And I gave it to her. That was... um kind of like um acid reflux like like I didn't like it so I didn't vape any more of it I got halfway through my tank I emptied the, I emptied it back into the bottle and gave it to my daughter she vaped the whole thing loved it she vapes at 50 watts on a kanger box or a kanger funny looking box thingy that with the big long whatever she loved it she had no problem with it then I actually managed to keep this she did not know because the boxes all have the strawberry in front that they were all different so she didn't rape my collection before i got to vape it for you oh my god do i have some left in here yay ah, i thought i finished the bottle so now as you can see my excitement that uh the next step was let me go to my second favorite thinking that would be my second favorite flavor because i love blueberry crunch kind of thing okay um some blueberry vapes though can taste very planty you know like the, there's a flavor i guess i'm not sure i don't make juice so i'm not sure I'm just, i know that there are different qualities of flavors that you can use and some blueberries taste too much stem like like a plant like you pull it out of the ground um other blueberries are just beautiful and they're they're not candy like but they're just rounded and beautiful like, you know, when you buy blueberries and some of the blueberries in that pack suck and some of them are perfect and you just want them all to be perfect, that's blueberry e-liquid, guys. And it depends on who is, is making it. These guys nailed it. This is a blueberry sprinkle donut. And there's not too much donut for me to be like, oh, that's not good for me. Oh, there's not too much of anything. It's a perfect blend very rounded and I'm so excited that I still have a little it's a very tiny bit left you can barely see see there I've got maybe a half a tank but I'm gonna be vape I'll vape that tonight I'll finish that bottle off love the blueberry loved it so then I was I'm like alrighty I didn't like the strawberry I love the blueberry what's gonna happen when there's no fruit involved what's gonna happen to me when it's a bear claw well, there is nothing left in the bear claw. That is one empty bottle right here. I think this was my favorite. Now, it, it's a tight, it, it must be my favorite. Let's say this, because the evidence shows this bottle is empty. This bottle still has a half a tank in it. I guess we know what the favorite is. This reminds me of that first churro that I liked way back when I first started vaping. This is honey. It's so perfect. You know, it's just crazy. Let me, I, I have really bad eyesight. Glazed cinnamon apple pastry. That's the, the flavor profile. Child lock, good. 
I think the cinnamon really gets me going because I'm a big fan of pumpkin vapes and it kind of like that cinnamon spice kind of feel. But man, this is a good one. I tell you what, absolutely love the Bear Claw. Let me read to you the flavor profile blueberry. True blueberry glazed donut. Okay. And then the strawberry is frosted donut with sprinkles. And like my daughter said, she said strawberry jam, strawberry jelly donut. So that's that guys. These, these vapes are very beautiful. They have a website and good thing I have the card right here because I just struggle just to read that silliness and that's very simple. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find. They have the they have a great Instagram dripping underscore donuts on Instagram. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash dripping donuts. D R P N. Okay. Um, their worldwide web is drpndonuts.com, and they have an email info at drippingdonuts.com. Uh, this was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, and I was really honored that they sent them to me. Uh, I just think it's great. They come in zero, three, six, and th milligrams. They don't go higher than six milligrams. Thirty milliliter bottles. Go to their website and ch I'm not going to get into prices because you know what? That's not why we're here. Okay, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not an affiliate. Um, if I was going to go out there and buy, would I would I buy one of these? Would I would I go there and buy them based on the flavor? If there was a little more VG, I would. If there was a little more VG, I definitely like a little bit more VG because I do like more cloud production. Um, but these are these are fantastic, and I'm super excited. This is the story. They sent me another line of theirs, the numerals line. And these have this, I'm not gonna get too deep into this because I wanna save this for another video. And these I will be vaping in front of your face. These, I didn't, I didn't get the video cut in time to do that. And I didn't even realize that I had a half a freaking tank sitting in the blueberry bottle. I had no idea. Oh, otherwise I'd be I would I would be dripping it on the on the what do you call it there the troll guy but that is a sexy box and these are completely different a completely different flavor profile completely other end of the spectrum and it's going to be interesting for me to uh, to vape on these so I'm really excited about that keep your eye out I would say within seven days I'll have these and I, I'll either do one video at a time or be vaping on one and tell you what I think of the other. You know, I hate to have predisposed opinions about things, but I have a feeling one I won't like and one I will. But then again, hey, I didn't know what was going to happen with these. I didn't think I liked the Bear Claw. It turned out to be my favorite. Thought I'd love the strawberry and couldn't barely vape it. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And I want to thank you so much. And you haven't even seen me chuck a cloud or nothing. Somebody asked me the craziest thing on, I can't remember, I think it's on my Facebook page, to talk with the vape coming out of my mouth. I don't know. I'm going to need a vote here, guys. I want to hear how many of you want to see me talk with vape coming out my mouth. And, you know, if enough of you want to see that, I'll do that. I'll do that for you. But one person saying that? I don't think that's enough people because it kind of feels like a, a fetish or something. What do you think? But with that being said, go on over to all their social media. Check them out. Let them know that you saw my video. I'm going to tag them in this one. I'm going to upload it to Facebook and YouTube. And uh, definitely go to their website. Take a look. And um, this would be a really great idea to get this. If you have a local shop, show them this stuff. People will get this. People will get this, so so connect them with Drippin' Vapes, okay? If they don't already have them, connect them with them. Because I think this is a, I mean, let me, all right, I'll fix, I'll fix something. If I was to go down to my vape store right now and I was out of e-liquid and I needed to have e-liquid and I knew that at my vape store 
that I, you know, what my, my options were. I would every time, every time, get one of these instead of everything else they have there. That's a fact. So, yeah, I guess you could say I like them a lot. So go on over, guys, and I will see you on the other side. Bye.